Hi guys, in this tutorial we're making a fairy house tree stump cake complete with bunnies. Add some ganache to the centre of your drum to secure a 6 inch cake. Fill and stack all your 6 inch cakes. Trim off any caramelisation and slope it so it's narrower at the top than it is at the bottom. Give it a rough coat of ganache to seal the cake in. For the second layer, Add texture by making vertical lines with your spatula. Once it's set, give the top a quick spray to dampen it. Using a very pale brown coloured sugar paste, just cover the top and give it a smooth before trimming off the overhang. Now for the sides. Using some slightly darker brown, roll out enough to go around the cake and slowly unroll it. It doesn't have to be neat, thankfully, because it's a tree. Cut and smooth the join, then trim off the excess from the top. Make sure you leave a few centimetres in height. Now bend the cut edge over and down inside where it meets the top. Get rid of some of the paste from the bottom and squash the cut end down to the board. Start adding some cracks and texture to the top using a Dresden tool. Now for a nice cheap tool, grab yourself some tin foil and roll it up into a crumpled sausage. Now just use it as a texture roller all around the sides. Got to love being cheap. Now add in some more texture with the Dresden tool all the way around, varying in depth. Cover the board in green using the toilet seat method, but instead of the clean inner edge, push it in and out against the tree stump. Using the Dresden tool again, adding grass working from the stump towards the edge of the board. Once you come to trim around the board, you'll notice it will pull the lines in the grass slightly, so run your hand in the opposite direction to help pull them back. Mark in where you'd like the door with the Dresden tool. Then use your scalpel to slice the paste flat. Add in a paler brown art shape for the front door. Then score in some wood grain lines. Here I've got a white arch I pulled from a mould I bought to go around the door. It's this one here that's like a frame and I'm going to use the shutters for the windows. May as well give it a try. Using a darker brown sugar paste, pull off a lump and roll it into a ball, then a tapered sausage and flatten one edge slightly. Add water along the chunky edge and then attach it low down on the left. Add some more in various sizes leading up to the door and also around the back. Next cut out some small arches for the windows. Fill the gaps with dark brown paste and add in some tiny step versions for windowsills. I used the mould for the shutters and now they just need to be trimmed down to size. Using some brown gel colour watered down a little, paint on the top rings.
For easy leaves, squash some green into a teardrop and pull in lines with the Dresden tool. Add two above each window. Using a slightly darker green, roll out a long sausage and do the same with the lighter green. Twist the ends together and start rolling your hands in separate directions to create a rope effect. Trim the ends and add to the right side of the house snaking up. Leaves can be added in the darker green. Continue to add vines all around the stump. For clumps of grass, stick some tapered sausages together and trim. Add them to the board and faff around unnecessarily for a good five minutes. Add more clumps around the board. For mushroom stalks, add some tylo powder to white paste and roll a tapered sausage. Trim the top and bottom to the desired height. Add them to the board and then leave them to set whilst we work on the bunnies. The body is a soft cone shape and the feet are tapered sausages with toes marked into the larger end. Add the two feet to the top of the cake with water. Place the body on top and secure it with a cocktail stick. The arms are just tiny cones of paste. For the head, start with a ball and run your little finger in the centre to create a dent. Add to the body with a little water. For his ears, start with a tapered sausage and flatten it and add a smaller, identical shape in pink inside it. Trim the bottom and then thin the base with the Dresden tool to pinch it together. Add to the head with water. Create a tiny pink ball for a nose and tap it into position. Black balls create eyes and white dots for catch lights. Don't forget his tail. Add a white ball or cone to the back. You can also add the door handle whilst we have the white out. Create another bunny in the same way for the board. For the simple fairies, roll some lilac paste into a cone shape and then trim off the point. Add your bodies to the cake, I've put one by the door, one on top of the tree stump and one hiding round the back. The arms are simple tapered sausages in flesh sugar paste. And the heads are simple round balls. Whilst those firm up, we can work on the toadstools. Using pale pink, create a slightly hollowed cone with your thumb in the base. Attach these to the tops of the stalks with water. For the fairy's hair, I've got some pale yellow and we're creating small pointed sausages down either side. And then a little ball on the top for a bun. For the second fairy, add a flattened disc to the back of her head and curl the front sausages this time. The last fairy has long hair attached to the back of her head. For the flowers, I've got pale orange, lilac and pink, my petunia vena and some very small flower cutters. You'll also need some Tylo powder to help stiffen the paste. 
Just knead the powder into the paste and you're good to go. Roll the paste out and cut out one of your flowers. Dust the veiner well with icing sugar and place your flour into the centre. Gently press the veiner together and remove the flour. Cut out several others. For the lilac blossoms, give them a quick smush with a ball tool to cup them and widen the petals. Start adding your various flowers around the house, vines and cake board. Using a small square of wafer paper, fold it in half and then cut out a pointed wing shape with some scissors. Add a small amount of water to the centre and gently hold it onto the back of the fairy. This should stick fairly quickly. Add small balls of white paste to the centre of each flower. Paint on tiny dots of black for fairy eyes. For the rose gold details I've got some metallic paint in dark gold and baby pink. As you can see the pink is too pink and the gold is too, well, gold. So mix them together bit by bit until you hit a rose gold colour. Paint the flower centres, spots on the toadstools and don't forget the door handle. To finish off, roll out some white paste. Paint on an inscription in rose gold paint. Cut around the text into a long banner shape and trim a triangle from each end and then bend the banner underneath to create folds. Add this to the board to finish. I felt I wanted to raise it a little so that was remedied with a little sausage of paste tucked underneath. And we're done. I hope you enjoyed this fairy tree stump tutorial. See you on Tuesday for the next one. Bye guys.